I'm Fabio Viviani and with my friend at 805 Living, we're discovering some local sources and make some delicious dishes. Welcome again, 805 Living, Cafe Firenze, Fabio Viviani, John Paolone, October issue. Simple dishes, something, you know, uh, health conscious, but you know, since it's us doing it, still you gotta have a lot, of, have fun. A lot of fun. You gotta have a lot of fun and a lot of flavor. Well, now, what, how are we gonna bring the fun, the health, and the flavor in one dish? We got salmon. What, what's so good about salmon? A lot of omega, omega. 3. Omega 3. Fatty, fatty acids. acids. Really good one though. Salmon is one of the healthiest fish. One good way to do salmon is to poach it. It's a very nice way to increase the flavor of something simple like salmon or chicken by not using greasy exactly. cooking technique. By poaching the salmon in extra virgin olive oil, uh, the salmon absorb the flavor that you decided to have in the oil. So how are we gonna do this, John? Here we have some uh, fresh garlic, bay leaf, and thyme. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the oil on low heat, and we're gonna start to infuse the olive oil. Remember, herbs, be careful. Herbs are moist. Oil and water. Okay, so <laughs> pomegranate vinegar. Let, let's talk about one second. Let's talk about pomegranate. Let's talk about flavor vinegar. When you reduce something like pomegranate, remember, sugar is concentrated in fruit juice naturally. And sugar, by eliminating the moist in fruit juice, you can concentrate also the viscosity of it. So by reducing it, it gets a little thicker. In the meantime, let's get our salmon and let's get it in the oil. Now, salmon is one protein, it's okay if it's a little underdone. I prefer my salmon, medium rare to medium. Turning the salmon a couple of times, you cook throughout the outside, but you still have a nice pink in the middle. And that's what we're trying to achieve today. While this is reducing, do you want to talk about our vinaigrette? The pomegranate vinegar. Spindle Farms, uh, they don't exactly have a location where you can go to the actual shop and buy it, uh, but spindlefarms.com, you can buy it, or you can go to Whole Foods. What we have here is on the recipe, which is the oil, the vinegar, and a little bit of honey. Put it in a bottle, shake it, you can do a mason jar. Don't try it. <laughs> go make go. We don't have we don't have the most spoon. So I wanna I want you to see that we try the vinegar. There you go. And this is not I'm not gonna have a sip of it, I'm just trying a little bit. This is actually really good for you too. It's very low in acidity. I'm drinking the whole thing. Delicious. We have a mixture of field greens here. We have a uh, red chard, bull's blood, a little bit of chervil for us, light, healthy. This is where we're, we're trying to go with this month. How's our salmon doing, Fabio? The salmon is doing fantastic, and actually, you see how nice and thick it got? Let's cool it down right here for a second. I'm excited, I am really honestly excited about it. Actually, I don't even mind some of the herbs there. Okay. So what we do here, Johnny? Go with the vinaigrette. Just a light dress. My, ne my grandma never used gloves. <laughs> she <laughs> never used tongs. <laughs> so we're gonna add this to the top of our uh, our salmon here. Look how nice and thick this got. Look at that. See how thick it is, and it actually sticks to the plate. That's exactly what you're looking for. Pomegranate seeds. We always try our food. Super moist. Look, it's delicious. Mm. It's really good. And this is really, really good for you. And it's good for me too. All in. Always our pleasure sticking out guys with you. 805living.com. We love you guys. Thank you for watching again. Fabio Viviani, John Paolone. Come to visit us at Cafe Firenze. See you guys there. Ciao. Thank you. Welcome to Bar Therapy. My name is Jacopo Falleni and today I'm gonna show you how to make Rosso Autunno. What that means? It means red from autumn because we're making a drink for the October issue of the 805 Living Magazine. First step, as I always teach you, is to start with a mixing glass. So what you do, you'll take around an ounce of the Aperol liqueur. You might want to know that Aperol as Campari is a bitter, okay? So you have to be really careful in the way how you use it because you don't want to overpower 
all the flavor that you use in your cocktail. Now you add an ounce of gin. It doesn't really matter if you use Hendrix. If you don't have Hendrix at home, you can use any kind of gin that you like better. Tanqueray, Bombay. I'm using Hendrix now because it's what I like, it's what I think helps this drink to have the better final taste. Then one ounce of fresh grapefruit juice. And one ounce of fresh pomegranate juice. How easy is that? One ounce, one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. Very important is to fill up your tin with ice. As I always say, around three quarter of your tin has to be filled up with ice because if it's not, it's, your drink is gonna be watered down. As, I, as you see and what I'm doing is that I'm chilling my tin because while I'm doing these things, my tin, it gets cold, but it also creates some water. And this water is the one that you don't want in your drink. I'm pretty much ready to go. Five fast seconds. In Italy, we will say cinque secondi velocemente. And my drink is ready. Now, what I always suggest when I do long drinks is to fill up the, the cocktail glass with some fresh ice. And uh, now I'm pouring the drink inside the glass. I leave a little bit of space because as I said before, I'm gonna add some of this magical wine, Brachetto. So as I'm doing it, I'm filling up my glass with this great wine that not only is gonna great, give a great finish to the drink, it's gonna make it sparkling. I'm gonna do a little stir and now that is the magic moment, the one where I taste it and I'm telling you what I think about it. Well, of course I think it's great. I just made it. But not only I think it's great because I just made it, but I think it's great because it's gonna be a great pairing with what Fabio just created. It's unbelievable. The citrus and the bitterness of the Aperol are gonna be a perfect match for any kind of fish dish that you do. So, Make sure you make this one at home, okay? As I always teach you, a drink is never finished until you do not put your nice garnish. And I just made this one for you. Make sure you spend a little bit of time of decorating your glass. Your date will really appreciate that, believe me. Thank you for watching Bar Therapy and I'll make your drink come true. Ciao. I like this one.